With the growth of the internet, it is becoming progressively easier to do things which were deemed dreams to kids years ago. Things like making games, movies, and many other internet and medias now. But here is the top 10 freeware horror games that you can find online. Number 10, Lisa. An extremely unsubtle game when it comes to its subject, clearly about abuse and not suggested for those who can't deal with such a mature subject matter. With that being said, this game gets on the list at a number 10 for its unsettling feeling it gives throughout the game. An earthbound looking style but with much more filth. The levels covered in garbage and rot, utterly stained. A man named Tricky Rick stalks her throughout the game with various forms. I like exploring caves, he says. I like friction. When exploring with a toilet found in most levels and the inventory itself, Lisa will vomit, giving the player an earful of her heaving into them. Number 9. SCP Containment Breach in SCP Containment Breach, you play as an unfortunate test subject who is put into a room with SCP-173, the sculpture. A statue constructed with concrete and rebar with a spray-painted face. In this game, you must keep full eye contact with SCP-173 when it's in sight. You must not blink. The moment you do, snap. Your neck is broken and you are dead. However, it isn't the only one lurking in the SCP facility. In this game, along with its randomly generated rooms, it takes full advantage of its blinking system, both forcing the player to blink after a period of time and giving the player the option of blinking to reset the blink timer or hold their eyes shut. Makes for scary good fun. Number 8 dot flow created by user lol this game is a fairly well-known fan game of the original humaniki and it hits number eight for the unsettling atmosphere body horror hospital imagery and dark tale on its world in dot flow you play as a girl named sabitsuki who enters her pc dream world to explore her mind much like the original, it has an open world with few limitations for exploring and you are to collect 20 effects, giving Sabi varying changes to a sprite, from giving her cat ears and a tail to turning her into a purple shambling corpse. In this game, you are chased down by the Kaibutsu, these distorted face beings wearing school uniforms that chuckle every so often whose facial features vary from large mouth faces to blooded whole faces. As well as these creatures called Red Demons in the aftergame, who, when come in contact with Sabi's alter ego called Rust, a much more malicious and diseased version of herself caused her to decay till the point where she will collapse and wake up. There is a very popular theory that these red demons represent this rust disease and are to explain as to why Sabi is locked away in a room to avoid the disease or avoid spreading it, as well as explain the appearance of the kaibutsu that stalk you throughout the game. Number 7, Madfather by Sen. This horror puzzle game with its perfectly eerie atmosphere Visuals, audio cues, and interesting story. Madfather follows the experiences of a young German girl by the name of Aya. She lives in a secluded mansion with her father known as Doctor and his assistant Maria. Aya is fully aware of his misdeeds and chose to ignore it, as to heed her mother's words to never hate a father and always love him. The game begins on the night of the anniversary of the death of their mother, awakened by screams of humans and animals coming from the basement, and greeted to a home covered in shambling corpses and supernatural beings. You must go through your home in order to find your father, find out what has happened to him, and the other mysteries of the house. Number 6. 
I See You by Cat Overlord. This pixelated horror game likes to mess with you. It has a bit of a build up in order to do so. In this game you find yourself in a mental hospital and advance through levels, occasionally being prompted in game with what you are able to do. You continue and that atmosphere builds and the prompts change. You can press shift to run but you'll never get away. The more you continue to advance, the more you begin to suspect that you aren't alone. You begin to hear and see things. You press on and the atmosphere builds more and more and you begin to know you're not alone. And then you're prompted, you aren't alone. You press on and the atmosphere builds more and more and then you're prompted, you are not alone and it sees you. Number 5, 1916 A visually stunning, possibly short first person horror game. The year is 1916 and you are a soldier in the midst of the battlefield in World War 1. The horror above can be heard clearly, explosions and gunshots. You emerge in this black and white world with nothing more than a note in your hand that simply reads, find the ladder. You must traverse through the narrow trench in front of you, enduring the mustard gas, watching for sudden explosions from the war above and avoiding another terror that stalks you through the trenches endlessly. Number 4. Lasting by S. Wolf. Gather discs and descend into the dizzying complex as the thick static presses on you. You are not alone. In this game, you frantically run around corridors and larger rooms searching for the discs in the darkened, nondescript building. All the while, a demonic-like presence chases you. The game keeps its frightening atmosphere as you continue into the game and becomes more intense upon seeing the one hunting you down. Your heart beats in your ears, your vision becomes static on seeing it. You can still hear it coming for you. You try to get away, forcing you into new parts of the building in the attempt, getting you lost in the ever-expanding rooms and corridors. You feel safe for the moment, but it, it has lasting effects on you. Number 3. I'm Scared by Ivan Zanotti An incredibly clever game that enjoys messing with you the longer you play. This is a game that demands its own folder in order to play. You start in your room with a door marked Exit. You can't use this door without meeting its demand of finding a heart first. Without spoiling much, it's a game that gives a small view and has you wander through narrow corridors looking for a way out, while being chased and interacting with the monster of this game. You always feel like you are being watched by it. You can feel it creeping onto you. You need to find your way out of this seemingly never-ending nightmare. There has to be a way out. Number 2. Witch by Mike Enel a very short first person horror game, you find yourself inside a small silent house. Your vision is distorted and makes you feel uncomfortable to move around. You begin to scramble to search the cupboards, drawers and whatever you can to find a way out. Your search leads you to a door with the sound of a heartbeat behind it and another with a head painted onto it. There are then three numbered doors and the final one marked exit. As one would guess, it's locked. You need to find a key to door one, which gives you the key to door two. Upon entering the second door, you are greeted by a mannequin. Without a head or heart, it turns to you and holds a key. It points to markings on the wall saying to give it to one or the other for its key. Which do you choose to give it to? It'll be following you till you find them. Some honourable mentions before number one. Owl Ani. 
Honestly, not a fan. It's an RPG maker horror puzzle game. The monster design isn't scary, and also varying art styles and sprites isn't great. Becomes awfully boring after the first couple of jump scares and continues to do the same. It tries to have a plot, but it's simply, let's go to this old abandoned mansion for poops and giggles and that's it. Gives you a choice of hiding in rooms and whatnot, but that doesn't matter if the creature will find you regardless. It does have its scary moments, with a couple different endings, but honestly, there are better of the same type of games. And also, Yumaniki. It's a great game, but there's been better since it's come out. Fan-made games have even surpassed it in horror and quality. Number 1. Dreaming Mary by Trass. Another rather short horror game. This one has multiple endings and it is suggested to get them all. This game is recommended to play with headphones. Its use of sound design is fantastic. In this game, you play as a small, pink-haired girl named Mary. Mary loves the dream. One day, she falls asleep and finds herself in a very different place than her other dreams. But everyone there knows her and treats her as if she were an old friend. Once she's finished playing with them and helping them, she's invited into a deeper dream. Without spoiling much, one of the paths has you facing a very different part of the world, a much darker looking place. He's coming, always chasing you. So there you are, there are my top 10 freeware horror games. You can find the links to download them in the description and bear in mind that these are subjective, you know, you might have a different opinion to the ones here. Anyway, thanks for watching and goodbye.